So Pete, you got to see the Sega Genesis Mini? I did. Uh, the show floor is probably opening right now as we're talking, if you're watching this video as it goes live. But uh, yeah, Sega came by and gave me an early look. No way. I mean, how, how did it play? It played really well. Um, you know, it, as I'd expect, because M2 is behind the emulation for all of these games. M2 is known for doing Sega's mm. Sega Ages releases. They're really highly renowned for their emulation. Yeah. And you know, if you look back at what the previous like third-party licensed Genesis consoles were from At Games, this is far and away better. It is. It, it is exactly what I'd expect. And I play Genesis almost on a weekly basis at home with real hardware. You know, on vintage displays, on modern displays, and this just felt like you know. I was at home playing a real Genesis game for the most part. Could I have maybe found something and nitpick about it? I, I don't know, <laughs> but I didn't feel anything weird. It just felt good, like I was playing Genesis. Cool, cool. So like, just I mean, emulation was top notch, right? And but I, I guess like, so M2 is known for offering a lot of like cool like options and extras. Yeah. Was, was there any kind of that in there? Not a ton. It's not so much like the Sega Ages games where they actually do give you most of that stuff. Uh -huh. I think that's kind of where they're known for that, but. You know, one of the, you know, yeah, there are like filters if you want like a CRT look. But the coolest thing is the, the languages. I want to say there were at least like eight to 10 language options there. And I said, oh, is this just for the UI or does this impact games as well? He said, no, no, this impacts the games as well. Mm. Every game can be played in all of the languages that they gave you, which is like super impressive. Yeah. And a lot of those include games that never really came out in the certain territories they've been translated for, right? So right. Um, Monster World 4, for example, Mega Man Wily Wars, I guess that was on Sega Channel, but Monster World 4 is a perfect example of a game that we, we did not get in the West, mm -hmm. that we have mm -hmm. now. And that series has gotten sort of a revival, right? Like people have been buying up those like Switch sequels slash remakes and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So it's great to finally be able to play that game in English. Um, and then there's even some stuff on there that was never on the Genesis, like the uh, Darius. So Genesis had Sagaya or Darius 2, mm -hmm. never had the original Darius. Um, so that game's on there, it plays really well. The original arcade version of that was like three monitors wide. Yeah. This is not that, it's fit on a four by three display, but it's still really cool to be able to do that. Likewise, a game uh, you might be familiar with known as Tetris. <gasps> Tetris? <laughs> Which doesn't sound right. that exciting to say, but that game was released on Genesis in such small quantities. I believe only three cartridges exist. Mm. The last one at auction went for 10 grand. So, oh, <laughs> look, it's not necessarily, oh, this is an amazing game to play on Genesis specifically. But the fact that M2 is involved, the fact that they're going to lengths to get games like Tetris, as yeah. basic as it is, it's still really rare and obscure, but it represents like something special about the Genesis, and they're treating this as something special as well. And that even shows through in the hardware. The Yeah, of course the power switch works and the reset button switch works, but the cartridge flap works as well. There's nothing <laughs> in there, but it works. The little door on the bottom that you would pull off from the expansion port to plug in the CD, Sega CD, that also works. So it's like, you really do have this little mini Genesis, and yeah, you're playing with a three button controller, but... I mean, how did it, how did that stuff feel like in terms of the hardware? The, the, the plastic feels a little bit different, but not bad. Okay. You know, and maybe that's because I'm comparing it to controllers I've been using or have been used for 20, 30 years at this point. Right. So what it really came down to though, when I was playing the game, did it react the way I wanted it to? Was I able to play the games the way I intended? Yes. Right. Which, there are a lot of third-party controllers that aren't that. But this isn't exactly a third-party thing. This is a Sega-made system sure. in cooperation with M2, and the fact that both teams are taking it so seriously is, is great to see, and I really just look forward to playing more, honestly. Dude, that's awesome. And that's the Sega Genesis Mini. Uh, for more E3 2019 news, uh, be sure to tune in to GameSpot.